Congress is fighting over a bill to let hourly workers take paid time off instead of overtime pay. Many government employees already have that choice. Republicans want to extend it to everyone, but Democrats do not. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Nancy, good morning. Good morning to all of you. Well, this is part of the GOP's new push to try to reach out to women, and women from both sides have taken the lead in this debate, though they don't see eye to eye. So this is when George was one. Martha Roby is a second-term Republican congresswoman from Alabama. She says with two kids of her own, she knows a lot about the tug between work and family. As a mom that wants to be there for the PTA meeting or, or for the um, swim meet, um, to have that flexibility is huge. Roby is the chief sponsor of the Working Families Flexibility Act, which the House will vote on today. The bill would remove federal restrictions on private sector employers that prevent them from offering comp time to hourly workers when they exceed their 40-hour work week. Currently, private companies must pay time and a half for every extra hour worked. The great thing about this is that it's up to the employee to determine how to use it because it's your time. You get to decide how to use your time. Democrats argue employers would take advantage of such a law, compelling hourly workers to take comp time instead of valuable overtime pay. Most hourly workers work for about $12.80 an hour. Congresswoman Donna Edwards of Maryland is a mother herself. Isn't this the kind of flexibility you probably would have appreciated when your son was young? Actually, as an hourly worker, I would have appreciated a big paycheck. Republicans say the bill is being misrepresented and will give private sector workers options that government workers already have. The White House threatened to veto your bill if it passes, saying that it undermines the right to hard-earned overtime pay. That's just false. It doesn't undermine overtime pay because if an employee wants overtime pay for time that they've worked beyond the 40-hour work week under this law, they are certainly still entitled to that. This proposal actually isn't new. Republicans tried to pass it back in 1997. And even if it does pass in the House today, it's going to run into a big roadblock in the Senate, which is controlled by Democrats. Charlie, Gail, Nora. Vice President Joe Biden predicts 